Let's go to the build up to the three man game below goal line. So let's turn that goal around. So what this is, we do it, we, we have, we try to teach our guys, it's a three man game defending the ball. It's not, it's not entirely, but it's basically a three man game defending the ball below goal line, and it's basically a three man game above goal line. So this is our build up to playing the three man game. So what we do when we do this drill, number, race, and who's that? Brian, raise your hands up, guys. Normally, they're trash cans or cones. They're not guys. When you're on defense, the first read you have to make is the offensive team in pass or dodge. If they're in pass, you can be out a little bit. If they're in dodge, everybody's got to suck in and protect the paint. So Aiden here is pretending, Aiden, raise your hand a little bit. Aiden is pretending as if number four is in, do in dodge. So he's going to be tangent to the top of the crease. So what he's helping is he's making sure if this guy back cuts, he takes them away. We don't have to defend 22 right now because he can't score where he is. This trash can can. So Sean's in his position, butt the ball side, sideline. Patrick's second slide, and they're good. Ready for the ball race? Throw the, throw the ball. Now, Aiden goes out, stop. Now, at, who's that? Jackson Roberts, number 17, seven or seven, seven, is now tangent the top of the crease. And what we're working on is our approach to the ball is to the outside shoulder. Our approach to the ball is on the outside shoulder below goal line extended. We want to make the dodge or run across the back of the goal before he goes to the goal. We don't give anybody top side. Now, go ahead, coach. You got it. Now, typically what we do is I just stand there and I go back, left, back, right, back, left, back, right. But there, since we don't have cones, we don't have a young whole time. So you, all we're working on is we already did the, the, the drill in front of the trash cans. Now we're adding two guys. Right now we're adding two guys. If you want to do the single crease inside, you can do the single crease inside. We do the double crease a lot because it's more difficult and it adds more players into the drill. So we just sub them in, sub them out, and I, we'll yell out back left, and they got to come in ready to play. Stay 80, go. Follow back left, good. Good. And there's no, this is another thing that I find with this age group or kids in America, I'm going to sound like an old fart now. No one wants to correct a peer. Right? Nobody wants to correct a peer. They don't want to tell their buddies you're wrong. We can't be a good team if we don't do that. Because sometime during a game, a teammate's going to make a mistake. He's going to have a mental lapse. He's going to forget where to go. He's in the wrong spot. His teammates got to yell at him and tell him where he belongs. And that's what we're trying to convince these guys to do. All right? Alex, keep two hands in your stick. All right? Pretty good. They're in and out. They're communicating. Now, stop. Stop. Patrick, number 16, should be yelling, our call is force. We use the term force when playing the ball. Alex, raise your hand. Alex Ross is one. Mikey, face, face that way, Mikey. Mikey, number one, is two. And what are you now, Sean? Sean is skip. So Sean's responsibility, getting a little higher, I think, Sean, top of the crease, is so that number 22 can't skip the pass up here to top left. That's his job. So our rule is, go ahead, coach. Our rule is your force means you're playing the ball. If you're adjacent, you're skip. You're taking away the skip pass. Your two passes away, you're two. And then there's, then there's one, which is I'm hot. Right, a hot, one, tuna, whatever you want to call. Right? Those are the only positions you have to be. So in all these drills, every time the ball moves, they have to communicate who they are. All right?